All right, go ahead and click on the import button and locate your GNS3 VM OVA file. Next. Now you want to increase the amount of RAM here. You allocate to the VM, so we're going to do eight gigs. And under additional options, uncheck the import hard drives as VDI and click import. All right, now notice under adapter one, it says VBox net zero. Now, if we click start here, we're gonna get an error. So this could not start the machine because the following physical network interfaces were not found. Okay, so what we need to do here is go click on settings, go to network. And if we look here, we have the name is VirtualBox host only ethernet adapter. So this all looks good. And believe it or not, all we're going to do here is click OK. And notice that it changes to VirtualBox host only ethernet adapter. So now just like magic, if we click start, lo and behold, it boots. All right, so next we're going to install the all in one. Sometimes it'll say that it's currently running, even though it's not, I don't know why it does that. Click next. I agree. Now you can install the web client if you want to. You don't need to install the VM because we've already done that. But go ahead and expand tools. Scroll down to the bottom and uncheck Solar Putty because you do not want any Solar Winds products on your systems. And do check Vert Viewer because you do want that. All right, everything else, the default should be good. Like I said, if you want the web client, you can install that. I'll install that. Go ahead and click Next. Give it a moment. Once it's done, click next and it's going to ask you if you want to install the SolarWinds standard tool set and you definitely do not want to install that. Click start GNS3. Now here it asks you how you want to run GNS3. We want to run appliances in a virtual machine. Localhost and port 3080 TCP, that's good. Click next. Next. And now it complains and says the VMware VM run tool cannot be found. So what you want to do here is click VirtualBox, and then under the VM name dropdown, it should detect the GNS3 VM. And then you can leave the CPU cores and RAM size the same because we have already set up the VM the way we want it. All right, click Finish, and that's it. You're done. GNS3 is ready to go.